Hey guys, I wanted to tell you a little bit more about myself and I thought the perfect way would be to use Nirman's YouTube survey. I like the survey that he does every year, so I'm going to use it. Question one, why are you called that? My parents were planning on calling me Amanda until I was born and then they were like, oh, she looks like Emma or something, I don't know. <laughs> as far as my channel name, I had a couple ideas for different names that I wanted. My favorite one was taken, of course. So I could have spent more time thinking about it, but I had told myself that I was going to upload my first video on December 1st. I only had 20 minutes before midnight. I just typed this one in quick, it was available. I took it and I uploaded my first video. And then afterwards I was like, oh, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if that's my favorite username, but whatever, I like it now, and um, I got my video uploaded on time. <laughs> Question two, tell us about your favorite school teacher. My favorite school teacher was my third grade teacher. He was fun to have in class, but on top of that, he retired, bought a sailboat, and sailed around the world. So I thought that was really cool, and I loved how he just went on this great adventure after a lifetime of teaching. He would come back and tell us about places he had been now and then. So I always looked up to him and I wanted to go on adventures just like he did. Question three, what's the strangest food you've ever eaten? The strangest food that I've eaten is a bit of a toss up. I had guinea pig when I was in Ecuador and pig brains when I was in China. And they're both equally strange for me. I don't normally eat meat, so it was... <laughs> They tasted surprisingly good, but very strange. Question four, tell us about your first gig or concert. The first concert I ever went to was actually last year, and it was to see Bonnie Vare at the Red Rocks Amphitheater in Colorado. I cannot believe I haven't gone to more concerts. It was a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to going to more in the future. Although, honestly, I'm probably going to spend more time at game conventions than concerts. Question five, what is your favorite place in the world? I think my favorite place in the world is Mauna Kea in Hawaii. It has a lot of my favorite things. It is a mountain, it had snow, and you can see so many stars up there. It's just really beautiful. I loved being up there. Question six, who do you want to answer this next? I would say probably Mika Kitty because I love watching her videos, but realistically, I don't know if she'll see this or, or be interested in doing the survey. And I'll add one more question. So question seven, why do you want to do YouTube videos? Because I always want to know this about the people that I'm watching. I go through all their old videos and some people address it. For the most part, they just have these magical YouTube videos. Lately, some of the bigger YouTubers have had like midlife crisis type stuff. It's not midlife, it's like adult life crisis? I don't know. <laughs> what do you call it if it's not midlife? They're not sure if they want to do YouTube anymore because it's stressful and and it's not fun anymore. And it's totally opposite for me because I'm doing YouTube because real life is stressful and I thought this would be like a really fun hobby to have. I'm making YouTube videos because I love YouTube. <laughs> you have free reign. You can just be creative, you can put your opinions out there, you can put your thoughts out there, and people interact with you and it's so great to have that kind of platform where you can get all this feedback from people that you would never meet otherwise. People from all over the world. Tell me in the comments below some of your answers to Nirman's survey. Subscribe so you can see my videos every week and I will see you guys next Monday.